Hi guys, today I want to talk about getting the right tracker. So it really depending on your budget. Let's say you don't want to spend any money. You can get a walking app that's on your cell phone to track your step. Now the disadvantage is it's gonna cost more battery on your cell phone. Your battery will worn out faster and when your phone is charging, you are not getting your step tracked. Or let's say you go into a swimming pool, you cannot carry your phone, then you are not getting your steps. And also in terms of accuracy, cell phone app doesn't have the best accuracy. Now, if you have a little bit of money, maybe you can invest into Fitbit. For about around 50 bucks, you can get a simple, easy tracker with a screen. You can see your steps anytime. Now, if you're really dedicated, I recommend getting a smartwatch tracker. Like this one is with Garmin. It's waterproof, it has GPS function. And the battery lasts for a long time. I don't have to charge this for two weeks. And uh, even in a swimming pool, I can track my steps. I don't have to take it down. I can bring it into the shower. When I bought this a year and a half ago, uh, it, it was like $300. Now the price has come down for about $160. You can get a nice really good quality tracker so you can see your steps all the time and right now it's morning i'm at 1331 steps there was uh, one guy at the lake uh, with just his underwear and they're hoping to smoke coming out of his body. He is uh, actually swimming at the lake. It's like eight degrees, seven degrees, pretty cold. And all he got is his underwear. And he's like stretching. Um, pretty interesting, there are all kinds of people. I guess he likes this coldness and he want to feel that 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 uh, cold yoga that was fun it's awesome to walk here i can hear the sound of the creek i can see the lake i see the green it's really happy when you're doing your walk in the nature, connecting yourself with all this natural surrounding. The view is absolutely awesome here, so beautiful. An average person walk about 4,000, 5,000 steps a day. You know, just going to the bathroom, going to work, going to school, coming home. It's average around four to five thousand. And if you are thinking about getting ten thousand steps a day, in average, like myself, in last uh, fifteen months, I have to put in about just roughly one hour of walking that I put extra time in in order to reach uh, ten thousand steps. So it's not so bad, considering uh, if you know the, the strategy by parking your car uh, further from the entrance. Before I was doing this challenge, I always park my car right at the entrance so I don't have to walk so much. And after I, I got this, this small watch to track, I want to get the steps and I begin to park further. 
In an average postal walker, they do about 20,000 steps a day. So 10,000 steps is actually not so much and it's easy to get. Yeah, I'm walking my 10,000 steps. Hooray! There are a lot of benefits doing the 10,000 uh, step challenge. Uh, most important is it keeps your body healthy. Your body needs exercise. If it doesn't exercise, it just starts to shrink, atrophy. You know those people got accident and and they had to put their leg in cast and two months up, three months up, you see the muscle atrophy. It looked horrible. So walking keep you fit. And walking has a lot to do with the brain too. Because when all your blood is circulating, when you exercise, your brain functioning better so when you walk all the time you're actually smarter on the other hand if you sit on a sofa watching TV all the time or just using computer all the time and not moving you become stupid literally because your brain couldn't function that well and finally You'll be happy. When you walk, your body produce this happy hormone, endorphin. So, uh, literally, you feel happier while you walk, after you walk. The effect will last for many hours. Even you finish your exercise, you still be feeling really happy. And I personally, I have many of these experience when I had a terrible day, I, my car broke down, I got stopped by the police, and my work not going well, and everything happened in one day, I feel terrible, I feel lousy, I feel like crap, but I don't care, good day, bad day, I check my watch, how many steps, if it's not enough, missing 2,000, missing 3,000, missing 5,000, I go out and get that 10,000 before I go to bed. And when I actually did it, this blood circulating, I can connect with nature, I, I see everything, and everything just open up and I just feel happy. Yeah! So, be fit. Be smart and be happy. Walk 10,000 steps a day. Check it out, you see? Now I'm on the other side of the lake. I was just over there and now I walk all the way here. And how many steps is that? Only 3,000 not so far away so that's like roughly 30 minutes so every 10 minutes you can walk about uh, 1000 steps so now I'm gonna keep walking and making a big circle so I probably will be getting 6000 7000 steps here keep walking When you are doing your walking, you feel like, oh, you're doing this alone. Uh, it's kind of um, mm, lonely. It's a little bit boring. Maybe you might feel like that. Now, this Garmin uh, fitness tracker smartwatch, it has a competition function. So, for example, uh, I put my brother on this garment, so on the phone I can see how many steps he walked. And there are two types of 
competition on the government system. You can compete with people that you know, and you can also compete with stranger. So based on your performance, there's 50k category, there's 70k category, there's there's 125k category. Every week, based on your result, you'll be shifting into different category. So I have this app which connect with my watch. Then I can see my ranking. Maybe I'm at number five. Maybe I'm at number four. Uh, maybe I'm uh, number one. Hopefully, and I can see how many steps I'm away from the number one. Oh, I'm number I'm number one right now. Yeah. Hold on. That was last week. I need to view current week. Ah. Uh, Current week, I'm number seven, but that's because I didn't sync yesterday. And how come my phone is not syncing? What is going on? My watch couldn't sync with the phone for some reason, and it didn't sync the step for about three days now.、Uh, I wasn't checking, so what I found out. Was、uh, first I restart the Bluetooth, it's still not connecting. Then I restart the watch, it's still not connecting. Then I figure out the problem. I restart the app, so I shut the app, and then I reopen the app, and now it's syncing, connecting. So with technology, you have to do a little bit of troubleshooting sometimes. I am now at forty-three、uh, thousand steps for this week so far, and forty-three thousand. Yay! I'm number one in my group. That's nice. So with this common app, every week you compete with new people, different people, based on your performance. You will get a promotion on your ranking, or you will go down with your ranking. So there's different kinds: fifty thousand, sixty thousand, seventy thousand, seventy-five thousand. My brother was in the hundred twenty-five thousand category. So it's kind of fun when you're competing with real people. So you don't just walk by yourself. You are competing with people all over the world, and you can friend them, message them. It's kind of fun. What else can I say to motivate you so you can walk, so you don't sit on your couch watching TV, you don't sit on your chair just using the internet, you don't just sit not moving and playing computer games. Haha, <laughs> this is pretty cool. I just got a notification. It's insight from this app with Garmin. It says you tend to log fewer steps on Friday, even if it's your rest day. Boost your step count by taking a short walk, parking further away, or taking the stair. Just keep moving. <laughs> this is so intelligent. Actually, Friday is my cheat day. So every other day I do my ten thousand, but Friday I don't care. I'm just gonna cheat on Friday. So your brain and your psychology work like that. Like you cannot always keep pushing your brain so hard. Like once a week you need to treat yourself.、Uh, once a week you need to. Reward yourself for just being lazy, and it comes down to your average、uh, weekly steps. You want to get over seventy thousand, so just one day of laziness is fine because six other days you will make it up.
and this app is so intelligent it will also tell you it, it also monitor your sleep that uh, your sleep is below 70% of other people average so you need to work on your your sleep so um, I really love this Garmin system because it compare your personal data with big data and that way uh, you can benchmark yourself and see how you compare with other people so that's the advantage of this uh, smartwatch system it's the most expensive one but it's totally worth it because that gives you the edge the winning edge and also you are not doing it on your own and it's competition is way more fun another great thing walking outside is you can see wild animal there is a little squirrel uh, they're everywhere but it makes walking fun you see they're running around you see birds you hear the sound of bird chipping um, you see beautiful scenery you see the lake it's just so awesome so you want to be happy you want to be fit you want to be healthy all day every day so this is part of the everyday activity you need to do look at this uh, beautiful uh, ducks floating on the lake it's so pretty so nice so peaceful see you can have a terrible day you're watching this you'll be so happy and that's the beauty of walking 10,000 steps So what's stopping you from doing your 10,000 steps? Where you can be fit, looking awesome, burning the extra calorie you ate last night? Where you can think better, function better, having the blood rushing through your brain, circulate your brain, and be more productive, and feeling happy when the endorphin going through your system and making you feeling good, connecting with this wonderful nature. Therefore, be fit, be smart, and be happy. Keep on walking. We'll see you in next episode.